Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. If you enjoyed these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I'd really appreciate it, and I promise to update daily. If you love this watch, you can see it, and you can purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. Today, we are discussing the rarely seen Alango Unzona Cabaret Yellow Gold, a timepiece that was part of a family debuted in the late 1990s, likely 1997, and discontinued by about 2011. The watch was never one of the strongest sellers of the brand, and as so often happens in those scenarios, the timepiece later became highly sought and coveted by collectors precisely because of its rarity. Now, I have bemoaned the decline of yellow gold as a mainstream option, and even talked about its relegation to niche status, but I'm also going to be frank and say that this watch seems most natural in yellow gold. With traditional proportions and traditional dimensions on my 16 centimeters circumference wrist, this just feels right. The timepiece is 43 millimeters from lug to lug, which means I can recommend it for a wrist as compact as 13 centimeters in circumference. It is not thick, only 9 millimeters thick, and across the case from what would conventionally be 9 9 o'clock to 3 o'clock. It's only 25.8 millimeters, so this is a delightful traditional men's dress watch from a company that does the finest dress watches in the industry. Now, the Cabaret is a different looking timepiece for Langa, but it features the same uncompromising quality. A high grade strap is where it starts. We're going to work our way from the outside in. You can see it's a sort of medium brown, large rectangular scale, semi gloss, folded edge, monotone stitch, calfskin on the underside. You can see this is a new Alanga Unzona factory strap. There's the clever Langa pin buckle system, which features a handsome exterior faceting. And as you can see, there is a suspended bridge over the two stanchions outboard so that the strap sits inside the buckle rather than stacking up underneath. And then there's a retaining bar because if you're like me and you have that small wrist, and this watch is excellent on a small wrist, but if you tend to buckle it to its last aperture, sometimes it can be difficult to remove the tightly strapped watch from a pin buckle. As a result, Longa has thought of this restraining bar that prevents the strap from getting pinned on the pin. The case itself is simple but strong. You have the characteristic stepped Longa lug but in a different form. You can see that they step out dramatically from the case band with their handsome fastening and high polish. The case band is linear satin finish from end to end, and there's a sort of stacked, almost pagoda-like elevation in stages from the lugs to the mid bezel, to the bezel abutting the sapphire. And as you can see, the sapphire has a little bit of camber or curvature to it. It is not difficult to achieve a little bit of camber to a sapphire. It is very difficult to achieve a cambered rectangular sapphire that is also water resistant. And this watch does feature 30 meter water resistant as you'd find on any Longa one. The dial is exceptional. As you can see, it's got a little bit of a 20s vibe to it as that was sort of the heyday of the rectangular watch. All features of the dial that are hands or applique are yellow gold. The stylized Roman numerals, you could see the individual indices, you could see the hands, and there are alpha hands at center, as well as the aperture for the grand date. You have a stop seconds function, and you can see inside the countersunk sub seconds, the hand stops. When I pull the crown, there's a pusher adjuster on the flank that allows you to step the panorama datum, or the big date. Turn it all over, and this is where the watch seems most distinctly and recognizably longer. It's the finish, it's the style of the movement. This watch features the Langa Caliber L9313 manual wind, 42 hour power reserve, 21 six beat rate. You can see it features 30 tools. It's adjusted in five positions, just like a chronometer would be. And of course, 30 meters water resistant, impressive because I mentioned it's difficult to achieve water resistance with a rectangular sapphire. This watch has two, one on the back, one on the front. Now also consider the standard of the finish you're getting. You're getting everything you expect in a longa. There's a three-quarter style plate with jewels set in chaton held by fire blued screws, just as they would have been on 19th century Glasuta pocket watches. You can see that you have a black polished cap to the escape wheel, a black polished swan's neck regulator, and black polished case clamp screws. You'll also note that the half bridge for the balance is freehand engraved. No two exactly alike. There's an engine turned perlage on the base plate, and if you look carefully, you can see that there is a mirrored anglage or chamfer on the edge of each bridge. Another feature that you 
don't often see on longer watches is an interior angle, and I've looped this watch. It's exquisitely cut. It's sharp and it's distinct. You can see it on the half bridge for the escape wheel, that little cleft on the black polished portion, that's an interior angle. You will see many Geneva Hallmark movements that do not feature even one interior angle. I consider it outstanding to find one on a lesser known Langa. This is a handsome watch and a versatile one. A man can wear it well, a woman can wear it well. A wrist of any size can wear it well. A smaller wrist like mine will enjoy the proportions and outright dimensions of the watch, which are quite agreeable. A large wrist will realize that the gravitas of the form, the style, and the Langa brand can hold its own against a tree trunk forearm and of course turn it over and you remember why you buy a longa in the first place it's not always the solid sterling silver dial oftentimes it's the gold metaphorically speaking that sits on the reverse side you can see this alonga unzona cabaret in yellow gold and make it yours on the watch box